everybody, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about combining masks in Fusion. The other day I made this little tutorial about making these kind of freeze frame graphics and some of you were like, what, what, what about right here? Y'all didn't cut out this little uh, this little hole right there. How do you even do that? Well, I'll show you how in just a second. First of all, let's take a look at just how masks work. So I'll make a new fusion composition just to show us all of these kind of things. And we'll make a background and put it into our media out. And let's just make this background a color. I don't know, maybe this kind of yellowish thing. So let's say we're gonna mask something. We would use one of these tools right here. Let's just start with a ellipse mask. I'll just drag that down and plug the output of this mask into the blue input of whatever we want to mask. And that will create a mask here. And really what you're doing when you put a mask on a node is you're saying, I just want Fusion to do whatever this node does just right here, okay? So this background node says, add a yellow background. This ellipse mask is saying, just do it here. We can combine masks together to do some fancy things. So let's say I want a circle on the left but I also want a circle here on the right. We can combine these masks by grabbing another ellipse mask, or I could even just copy and paste this one. Control C, double click off, Control V. And I can stack these masks just like this. I can mask one mask with the other one. Then I can take this mask and move it over, and you see we have two masks here. So what it does by default, if you run a mask into another one, it combines them, which is a little bit backwards from how I just explained it. Masks kind of interact with each other a little bit differently than masks interact with everything else. And the way that you can control what they do is here in the second mask, the one where something's actually going into it, over here in the inspector, under paint mode, this is what controls how the masks interact with each other. So right now we have merge, which basically means that you put whatever masks you have all stacked, they all just add together, right? So if I were to put these kind of together, it would make this little kind of binoculars shape, right? But if I were to switch this paint mode to something else like subtract, what that's going to do is take our second mask and subtract it from our first mask. This mask right here is subtracting it. We could also subtract inverted, which will basically subtract everything outside of this mask from the first mask. So you can combine masks together in some really fancy ways just by messing with this paint node and this invert. Minimum just uses kind of where they're intersected and there's a bunch of different options here. So long story short, if you want to combine some masks and do something fancy with them, hook them up here in the nodes and then on the second one in the chain here, mess with this paint mode thing until you get what you actually want. Simple enough, right? Let's take a look at how we would fix this little problem and actually have a version here that is fixed of our freeze frame graphics. And here's what we did. I have one mask that is cutting him out. If I have this selected, I can bring this up in the left viewer and we have just this right here for his mask. And then I drew another mask, a polygon mask, which is just this little bit in between his shirt and his sleeve. And this mask is set to subtract. So when we bring this up in the left viewer, we're subtracting that. Remember, when you bring up an alpha channel, everything that's white is opaque and everything that's black is transparent. So now when we apply this to our footage, we have him cut out nicely. Pretty neat, right? And then of course, because the mask is a little bit different, we also have to add this to our second mask, which is controlling the yellow outline. And we have to paint a little bit more in there to get this effect, but the basic masking part is fixed just like that. So yeah, that's how you combine masks. Do you have any other questions about masks? Well, why don't you just post them in the comments and maybe we'll do another follow-up video, a follow-up to the follow-up. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a train, I guess. Like, like a follow-up would be like a trailer, like behind a, a truck, you know? But then a follow-up to the follow-up would be a trailer trailer, but not like a movie trailer. Oh, things are so confusing. <laughs>